welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be sharing the easiest way to install the google play store on your windows 10 and windows 11. this is the easiest and the best and 100 percent working method because you would be able to enjoy the google play store application and game without any kind of problem now before starting what you will have to do you need to make sure that the virtualization has been enabled from your windows feature and from the bios so from the window setting what you have to do click on your windows search type app wiz dot cpl hit the enter key now here from the left in menu option you have to click on turn windows feature on or off click on it and here scroll down and you will find somewhere virtual machine platform so make sure this option should be checked and once you check it you click on ok it will be applying the changes and it will probably ask you to restart the computer now once you are done you have to close it and then you will have to come to this website of github of windows subsystem for android the link will be in the description now once you come up here you will have to scroll down to the very bottom and in the asset the very first link that you will find of removed amazon you will have to click on it now once you click on it the downloading will be started and it's around 653 mb which i have already downloaded so that i can show you how exactly it work so you will have to wait until it's all been downloaded and once it get downloaded it will be downloaded in a zip file so you will have to make a right click on it and extract it and once extracted you will be getting this kind of wsa folder over here okay so finally you will have to open it and here you will find a bunch of files so do not get confused you have to look for a file here by the name run.bat that is a windows batch file so you will have to look for it and once you get it make a double click on it and it will automatically bring up some command if it asks you for the permission give the permission and the process will now be started now simply you will have to relax you don't have to do anything in case if it asks you for any kind of permission that you will have to give the permission and now you can see it says windows subsystem for android the installation has been started now in case here if you get any kind of error that says virtualization is not enabled then probably you have not enabled the virtualization from the bios so you will have to go to the bios i will leave a link in the description that how you need to enable the virtualization enable it and then follow the same steps so once you will be done it will ask you either to log in with your google account on my end it already signed it with my google account and now you can see i'm all done the google play store is now up and i can use it i can use any kind of google play game google play application books kid almost same that it looks like on your android phone now for example if i want to download any kind of game like battleground mobile india if i will click on it and click on install so you will find the installation will now be started you can see here it's working without any kind of problem now let me show you any other application which is a small so that i can show you how exactly it work like so now for example if i download any small game just to show you that how exactly it work like candy crush so i will click on install and the installation will be started so it will be downloading uh, depending that what kind of internet connection speed you have on my end you can see the downloading speed is good it's been downloaded simply i will click on play and the game is now coming up I just make it in the full screen and i click on accept and now I'm ready to go and play the game. Similarly, you can enjoy any of the game, any of the application of Google Play Store. Now, in case if you have any kind of trouble, uh, like opening any kind of game, then make sure that you restart your computer and then you can try again. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.